fit the jib to the jib boom and the rest of the rig, first establish the positions of the boom bands and O-rings for the size you are building. First thing to do is prepare the top of the forestay. So cut a 200mm length of Dyneema and tie one end to the front hole in the mast head crane. Tie a metal ring to the other end so it rests at about 15mm from the crane. Now to create the jib hook down. Cut a 450mm length of Dyneema and tie a loop in one end that is about 25mm long. A bowline is perfect for this. Make a mark on the Dyneema that's 65mm away from the far end of the loop. And this is for all rigs except the D-Rig. If you are fitting the D-Rig, then this measurement should be about 45mm. The other end of the Dyneema now goes through the lower middle hole of the tube joiner. Then round the back and through the top middle hole of the tube joiner. Bring it back down again on the other side through the bottom middle hole again and then lead it forward towards the weight. Bit of bowsy, so thread the Dyneema through the first two holes. Then take it through the rear of the two holes in the boom end fitting. Then back to the last hole in the bowsy, but do not tie a stopper knot yet until the next stages is uh, complete. Lay the rig down flat on a surface and pull the looped end of the Dyneema until the 65 or 45 millimeter mark lines up with the bottom of the tube joiner. Take up the slack at the load side and then position the bowsy so it's about a quarter of a way from the front of the boom to the tube joiner. Now you can tie it off with a stopper knot and tidy the loose ends. Remove the counterweight from the front of the jib boom and push the balance bar of the weight through the loop of the wire forestay. This is the wire that is inside the luff of the jib. Push the weight back into the boom end fitting and leave about 5mm of balance bar showing. Hook the clue hook into the jib eyelet at the clue of the jib. And then this can be pinched closed with a pair of pliers to prevent accidental release when sailing. Put a 250mm length of Dyneema to form the jib Cunningham. Tie one end to the front lower hole of the tube joiner and then through the first two holes of a bowsy. Then take it forwards and through the front eye of the boom end fitting. Then take it up and through the eye of the tack of the jib and then straight back down through the front eye of the boom end fitting again. Now travel aft back to the bowsy, up through the last hole, set the bowsy so it's about halfway along the front section of the boom, pull the Dyneema to take out any slack and set the jib so it sits about 5mm away from the top of the boom. Now tie off the bowsy with a stopper knot. From experience, it's best if these two lengths of Dyneema can be different colours, so you can easily identify which one is the Cunningham and which one is the jib hook down. For the D-Rig, you should pass the loop of the jib hook down through deck I2, which is the second one back from the front of the boat. For all other rigs, you should pass this loop through deck I number one, then deck I number two. the loop over the deck hook behind deck eye number two. Hold the tube joiner on top of the deck eye two for the D-Rig and on top of deck eye one for all the other rigs and then pull the bowsy aft. This will tighten the Dyneema which will hold the tube joiner as close to the deck as possible. 
Put a 200mm length of Dyneema and tie one end to the wire loop at the top of the forestay wire. Then take the end through the first two holes of the bowsy and then through the metal ring and back down to the last hole of the bowsy. Pull some tension in the Dyneema and with the bowsy about 10mm from the metal ring, tie it off with a stopper knot. When this is done, pull the bowsy down to create more tension in the forestay until the luff of the jib starts to wrinkle. Cut 150mm length of Dyneema and tie one end to the top eyelet in the jib and the other end to the wire loop in the top of the forestay. Pull this just tight enough to take the wrinkles out of the luff and then tie it off. Cut a length of Dyneema, the same length as the jib leech. Tie one end to the metal ring that is tied to the front of the masthead crane. Tie a metal ring in the other end, so when at rest, the ring is about three quarters of the way down the jib leech. Now take the Dyneema that comes out of the end of the jib boom and pass that end through the first two holes of a bowsy. Then take the Dyneema through the metal ring and back down to the bowsy. Take up the slack and with no tension in the line, position the bowsy just above halfway between the metal ring and the boom end and then tie it off with a stopper knot. And one last thing to do to complete the rig, and that is the jib sheet. Cut an 850mm length of Dyneema and tie a loop in one end. Clip this loop to the winch line. Run the other end forward and under the bridle line. Then through deck I 4 for the D-rig, and for all other rigs, run this through deck I 3. Then forward through the small hole in the sheet lead, over the boom band, through the O-ring, and then through the first two holes of a bowsy. Now go through the bottom aft hole of the tube joiner to the last hole in the bowsy. Hold the aft end of the jib boom just over the edge of the boat and then pull out the slack in the Dyneema and position the bowsy so it is about halfway from the tube joiner to the sheet lead. Now mark where the Dyneema exits the bowsy and tie a stopper knot there. Cut any excess Dyneema with a sharp blade and use superglue to stop the cuts from fraying. If you have already installed the main sheet, then this now concludes the rigging for this set of sails. In the next video, we will prepare each rig for sailing. I hope that's been useful for somebody. Thanks for watching and apparently now you need to go and click an up thumb button or something. What do I know? Anyway, see you next time.